Hey guys, Technically Jeff here, and I have something that I really think is important to share with the EV6 community and the EGMP community uh, in general, because I know that this impacts the Ionic 5 owners as well, and that is the charge speeds that are throttled based off of the temperatures of the charge port. And after my recent video that I did where I tested out the Shockflow uh, S1 uh, EV charger at 40 amps and actually 48 amps, and I didn't see the charging speeds throttled, it had me thinking that this must be something that is at least partially due to the EV charger and maybe the connector uh, itself, because I have a juice box 40, and I know that anytime I have my amperage set above 35 amps, my charging speeds get throttled. So I tested the, the shock flow for over an hour uh, the other day at 40 amps, and then I tested it for another 40 minutes at 48 amps, and it never got above 210 degrees uh, at the charge port. Right now, I am charging, I'll go ahead and show you guys, juice box 40 at 40 amps. I've been charging for 51 minutes and the charge port temperatures are 197 degrees. 197 degrees after 52 minutes. With the shock flow charger, I was at an hour, I was not even above 170 degrees at 40 amps. And the temperatures right now are 63 degrees outside. So it's 10 degrees colder than it was when I tested the shock flow and my charge port temperatures are significantly higher than they were with the shock flow. So that tells me that this is highly variable depending on your EV charger. And it makes me wonder what the, the issue could possibly be. So um, I'm gonna do some testing and I'm gonna compare the uh, connectors with my juice box 40 and the other EV chargers I have and see if I can kind of figure out what the issue is uh, between the two uh, or between the different uh, EV chargers and see what might be um, having the, the biggest impact here. Because what I think is happening is maybe there are connectors that are uh, becoming, I don't know if loose is the right word, but uh, over time plugging in and unplugging the connectors inside the J1772 connector may be not as tight. And for instance, my juice box 40, that gets plugged in every day. My wife has a Pacifica plug-in hybrid that we plug in every night. Uh, or every day, multiple times a day sometimes. Um, and then my car gets charged uh, multiple times a week, usually probably two times a week. So um, I'm thinking that maybe it may be expanding. I know I was looking at the connector up close and the, um, the connection points inside the connector look like they're actually push, pushed back slightly from the uh, part that actually touches like the outside uh, of the connector. I'll show you guys that um, in a different video when I when I look at it up close, but um, I'm thinking that that might be part of it. I think it also might have something to do with um, like maybe dust, I don't know, dirt. My, my Juice Box 40 connector does stay outside. It is on a, a mount, so it goes onto it and it shouldn't really get uh, anything in there, but um, it does stay outside. So if it rains or if there is something crazy. I mean, maybe a little bit of stuff could get in there. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to share this because I think this is important for people to know that yes, the cars do have issues with, uh, throttling the charging speeds, but, um, it's not all the car's fault. Um, there are some chargers that apparently don't do as well as others. Um, and over time, it seems like chargers, um, may start to have issues, uh, as they get used and, and get worn and that type of thing. Now I'll show you. I'm 54 minutes in and now it's up to 199.4 degrees at 40 amps in my EV6. And I'm willing to bet that after maybe an hour and 15 minutes, it'll be hot enough to where it starts to throttle the speeds. So we will see. Anyway, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Let me know if you have any questions uh, on any of the charging things. Let me know if you have ideas on ways that I can test this information for everybody and get the word out. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for some additional videos on this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.